Hi, welcome to the new Spring Boot Security Series. This tutorial is based on the new Spring Boot 3.0.0 version. Welcome to part 1 of the Spring Boot Security Tutorial. Many of you will know that the Web Security Configure Adapter is deprecated. That is why we are using the Security Filter Chain. In this first part we will use Form Login and HTTP Basic. Form Login is used by the browser and HTTP Basic is used by Insomnia or Postman. To keep things simple in this part, the users are configured in the Application Properties file. Back in Eclipse, we first look at the Application Properties file. At the top we see the server port 8080. The next property is the log level of Spring Security. In the next three lines we configure the user. Username Password and roles. This is just for this demo. Later we will configure the users in a database. Next is the home controller. Here we have three methods. Home User and Admin. In the user and admin method we have authentication injected. We do this to send the data of the user who is logged in with the HTTP request. In this case it is just the name. As the last part we have the security configuration class. As mentioned before we do not use the web security configure adapter because it is deprecated. From now on we use the security filter chain as a bean. Here you can see that the home endpoint is open to everyone. The user endpoint is only open if you are logged in. And the admin endpoint is not accessible. Next we have form login and HTTP basic. With the default configuration. And finally we use build to return everything. We have now gone through all the classes. We can start our project and test it in Insomnia and your favorite browser. Open localhost port 8080 in your favorite browser. This page is open to everyone. If we now go to the user page, we will see the default login screen from Spring Security. Here you can log in with the username and password we configured in the application properties file. If we go to the admin page, we get an error page. With status code 403, forbidden. Now if we switch to Insomnia, we can send the same three HTTP request. Again, home is freely accessible without user. If we send the get user HTTP request, we need to send a username and password. After a good response, we can look in the Cookies tab. Click on Manage Cookies. Here you see that Spring Boot has sent a cookie so that all subsequent HTTP requests can work without username and password. Now if we send the get user HTTP request without the username and password, we will get the correct response because Insomnia sends the cookie. Lastly, if we send the get admin HTTP request, we will get an error message as expected, with stos 403 forbidden. So this was it for this part. Thank you for following along. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.